ちは。今日もですね、レオナルド・ダ・ヴィンチの最後のパンサーについて一緒に見ていきたいと思います。はい、What has survived? Most people consider the last supper a masterpiece, even though they have never seen it in person or seriously examined it in reproduction. It's the fact that this work is to be considered a masterpiece because thus it has been called and thus it has been written. But in reality, we know well that the last supper that has survived today is not comparable to the masterpiece when it was painted. It is perhaps irrelevant, and many might find it scandalous to call the work we before as horrible, even art historians such as Gibbs Bossi, who wrote one of the most outlived books on this subject and who loved Leonardo. Did not hesitate to use negative adjectives about the work visible in the 19th century, already deteriorated and restored in clumsy fashion. We need to be objective and to admit that what we see today is a ruined work. But painting, although so deteriorated, is important and absolutely fascinating, also thanks to our understanding of other works by Leonardo. We can hypothesize what it would be. Had looked like, had its original condition remained unaltered, it's a magnificent ghost that allowed us to imagine its past majesty. The testimonies of deterioration. <coughs> Today, anyone standing in front of the restored work, the Last Supper in Santa Maria delle Grazie, is an undoubtedly condemned. By the idea that it is a masterpiece. The painting is guarded and conserved with the utmost care, technology being used to keep the humidity and even the composition of the air blessed by the visitors under control. They are obliged to move from room to room while respectfully preparing themselves for the few minutes. They will have. At their disposal for gazing on the painting. The Last Supper is impressive and majestic, but nobody is able to be objective and bravely admit that they are in the presence of a 500 year old cadaver. This is disrespectful and irrelevant affirmation that would horror free students and lovers of Leonardo. It, yet, it is a work used by the most eminent art historian. Loved and protected the Last Supper like nobody else. g i s a p o s h i His book, Del c e n d r o di Leonardo da Vinci, published in 1820, is essential reading for every student and as well as narrating the story of this masterpiece, it describes the painting as it appeared two centuries ago. b o s h himself, a scholar and admirer of Leonardo, did not hesitate to describe it as much deteriorated over time. Using pitiless epic 300 year old cadaver, spoiled remains of a great work. Total ruin, extinct painting, last lags, few old original trusts, and sadly effectively. This was also because by the early 19th century, the Last Supper had been heavily repainted by the restored, who had covered it with new pigments, vanished and blues. The original work cannot be brought back to the state it was in five centuries ago, but it is possible to tempt a digital virtual restoration. <coughs> a lost masterpiece. What has remained of the original painting? Thanks to the latest restoration, in 1999, directed the pinning, blood, all the layers of the The painting carried out over the years by various restorers have been removed. And restoration, the one, shufuk desne, and the restoration, yok bizutsukan ni kito desne, go, mitai na to motta yaga desne, mirare nai koto ga aru n deskedo, so yu toki ni desne, and the restoration to kat te yuare koto ga arimas, shufuk chu to yu koto desne. Hai, did people in fact paint it over the original or else fixed the ruined surfaces with heavy glues? Many pictorial areas are completely lost, and a few remaining ones are much deteriorated. From a distance, or 
through a reproduction, it is possible to recognize the setting and the figures present in the work. But if we observe painting in reality, in real scale and form, close up, we realize that it is badly damaged. It has suffered from time, from the distors and from the fact that Leonardo used tempera and oil painting secco instead of true fresco. このレオナルド・ダ・ヴィンチのですね最後の晩餐なんですけどよくですねこの時代、まあ、長期間ですね保管するような、えっと、所蔵長期間こう見られるような絵の場合ですねフレスコ画で描かれることが多かったんですがこのレオナルド・ダ・ヴィンチの最後の晩餐はテンペラ画ですテンペラ画はですね損傷とか消耗がですねしやすいいわゆる卵,の卵を使って、まあ、絵の具を溶かして絵を描くんですけど絵の具が剥がれやすくなっちゃうんですよね水に溶か,し溶かしてるんでそういうふうなのをですね使わずにフレスコ画壁とかに絵を描く場合は漆喰を使ってフレスコ画を使うことが多かったですセシテナリハイドの最後の晩餐しかりなんですがただですねこれはですね漆喰が乾く前に絵を描き上げなきゃいけないというふうなことである程度筆のスピード絵を描くスピードが速いというふうなことが求められますただレオナルド・ダ・ヴィンチはゆっくり描く画家だったので天ぷら画を選んでいましたただ天ぷら画はですねゆっくり描くことはできるんですけどなかなか保存に長期保存に向かないというふうなことがあったのでレオナルド・ダ・ヴィンチの最後の晩餐というのは損傷が激しい絵になっています、はい However, Observing what remains in the r e f l e c t o r y we find ourselves in the presence of a precursor of virtual reality. The Last Supper is a three dimensional work, an enveloping painting that continues on the walls and on the ceiling. The central rectangular part that everyone knows opens a virtual window and presents a perspective extension of the real room. The r e f l e c t o r y digital instruments, and 3D コンピュータグラフィックス cannot only help us to analyze the lost work, but can be used to reconstruct the last supper in virtual reality and restore the work to its appearance in 1498, or at any rate give us an idea of the wonder that we have. And the placing paid the parts emphasizes in red indicate the total absence of pictorial pigment. Now lost, or the parts completely destroyed. あの最後の晩餐なんですけど、最後の晩餐の絵だけじゃなくてですね、一応その教会の中に描かれている絵なんですけど、その最後の晩餐の周囲にもですね、絵が描かれています。はい。ハイパスデジタルエンハンスメント・オブ・デ・ディフェクツ。でですね、ペテロナイフを持ったペテロとかも描かれています、はい、次行きましょうバックワーズインタイム To be able to try and reconstruct the painting not only in its most famous part but also in the, in the upper portion with the lanets and the walls we need to avail ourselves of the historical documents Prior to the Second World War, when the walls were mostly destroyed. In fact, in 1943, an Allied bombing raid destroyed all the barracks and almost all the walls. The painting, protected by sandbags, miraculously survived but suffered further damage. Observing the photographs taken before 1943, we note that a good part of the wall and the ceiling was painted with decoration. That have now been lost forever. でこのレオナルド・ダ・ヴィンチの最後の晩餐なんですけど1943年ですね第二次世界大戦中の1943年ですね連合軍側のですね爆撃によってこのサンタマリー・ペルクラッツ修道院の食堂ですねこの建物が被爆しちゃってですね屋根が吹き飛んでもう外の雨ざらしというんですかねそういうふうになって
への損傷がさらに進んだというふうなことになります。結構ねこういうふうな、まあ、第一次世界大戦にしても第二次世界大戦にもしつつですね結構ヨーロッパのですね貴重なですねそういう美術品とかが破壊されているので、まあ、とても残念ですよね。Thanks to these photographs and to the historical documentation, it has been possible to attempt a partial reconstruction of a work that extended far beyond the central dictator. Perhaps one of the most spectacular things were the boards painted with a blue gram, floral decorations, and gold. A historic photograph takes in 1895 is very interesting because it shows numerous details. All the historic documents, from the early painted copies to engraving and finally to old photographs, are used for the purposes of reconstructing the original three dimensional space. From the 1895 photograph, using the perspective rules in reverse, it is possible to straighten out the walls and then to reconstruct them in 3D. In the photo, it is curious that the vanishing point coincides with the perspective viewpoint of Leonardo's painting, so that we will see how the space proceeds virtually. As in a time machine, we pass from 1895 to 1500 and thence to 33 AD in a virtual journey from the present to the time of Leonardo, and finally. To the historical time represented by the painting. The study of some print from 1846 can help us to reconstruct the room as it was in the time of Leonardo. The effect of the Last Supper in a photograph of 1895. The perspective straightening of the elements in the 1895 photograph. でこのレオナルド・ダ・ヴィンチの最後の晩餐なんですけどこの絵はですね少し高いところにあるんですよねこの絵がですねいわゆる美術館なんかを回るとですね目の高さにあるというふうなことが多いんですけど最後の晩餐についてはですね教会の中のですね教会って天井が高いこと多いんですけどそういうふうな、まあ、教会の天井の高い建物の中にありましてでその中でちょっと高さ的にはですね2階部分ぐらいにあるんですねだから1階の部分っていうのはあのそこに絵がないちょっと見上げながら見るような形になっていますはいでは次行きましょう Early each morning Another curious testimony comes to us from a writing by Matteo Bandello who describes not so much the work but Leonardo himself and his day routine As regards the Last Supper, Bandelo, who was living in the convent of Santa Maria delle Grazie at the very time when Leonardo was painting, wrote, He used often to go early each morning and clean the scarf because the central is somewhat raised from the ground. He used, I say, from the rising of the sun until its setting, not to remove the brush from his hand. But continue to paint, neglecting to eat or to drink. This is typical of Leonardo's character that he was so concentrated on his work with passion and perspective that he would even forget to take food or drink. Even more surprising is the second part of the testimony. He would then stay there for two, three, and four days without putting his hand to eat. And yet, he would sometimes stay for an hour or two of the day and only contemplate, consider, and examine by himself and judge his figures. I have seen him, according to the whim or caprice that touched him, live called Vecina in the middle of the day. When the sun is in Lyon, where that stop duke our horse was composing and come straight to look 
glad the end, having ascended the scaffolding, pick up his brush and give one or two strokes to one of those figures, and usually leave and go elsewhere. Matteo Bandello, novel 68. Here we read of Leonardo, who sometimes perhaps thinking of other matters, did not devote the time necessary of finish the work. He was often deployed by the flames themselves, who had to take their meals every day in difficulty. In this, we glimpse the unpredictable and liberal character of the artist who often did not finish his own work, probably because he was involved in other projects, as we can see from his Milanese manifests, which are incredibly rich in content. The construction of the appearance of Matteo Bandello based on ancient films. Leonardo da Vinci was a very good one. 食べたり、まあ、食事とかですね、水飲んだりとかですね、そういうふうなこともですね、忘れて、まあ、絵を描くことに没頭したというふうな記録が残っております。はい、次行きたいと思います。A little look at the painting.The 1846 print in the magazine e m p l o p i t Show is one of the earliest testimonies of the appearance of the whole d e f e c t l y It's undoubtedly a historical interpretation of fact that took place more than 300 years previously, so it can't be regarded as 100% reliable. But in any case, it is the only basis for a possible virtual reconstruction. There are hundreds of copies of The Last Supper, and they are all useful for attempting a digital reconstruction. But there are not so many testimonies described to the left plea and the community. Continuation of the painting on wall and ceiling. In the print, it is interesting to note that the architecture of the b a l l s does not perfectly coincide with the present arrangement, and above all, the painting continues about the three r a n e t t e s with the same style, reproducing some c o a t s of arms. Also, the light part of the d e f e c t l y is painted with decoration. Similar to those that have survived on the left wall, and this increases the representation's reliability. More prints of 1846 showing Leonardo painting in the refectory of Santa Maria delle Grazie in Milan. I have seen him, according to the whim or caprice that touched him, give one or two. Stokes to one of those figures and usually leave and go elsewhere. Interpretation of Leonardo on the scaffolding while he finished Last Supper in 1489 from a print of 1846. Digital isolation. The Last Supper began to Deteriorate immediately after completion, and over the years, various attempts were made to conserve it, repaint it, and restore it. The last restoration effected in 1999, eliminating whatever was extraneous to the original, have unfortunately left us few de details and only a memory of the initial colors. The work that Leonardo painted in 1498 no longer exists. There is only a ghost to remind us of what once was. It would be wise not to touch the paint's surface anymore, as there is nothing left to clean or restore, and we might lose even what little is left. To see the masterpiece again, as it was Leonardo's time, the only way forward is digital reconstruction. In addition to the painting, preparatory. Drawings can also be used as a reference. Moreover, using both traditional and digital drawing tools, one can attempt to reconstruct the impossible. Virtual reality then helps to create immersive space and to get an idea of what people in the 16th century saw when entering the refectory. 
and this again using historical documents and Leonardo's own preparatory drawings. Finally, copies and shortly afterwards, such as that of Ganapin in 1515, are fundamental. Thus, digital instruments help to deconstruct a masterpiece that is itself the precursor of immersible virtual reality for artistic, scientific, and historical purposes. Drawing made for the digital reconstruction of the Last Supper. Passage of the digital distillation traces color drawings 1498-2022. Digital painting with the colors of Gimpo. New reference drawing. Current situation. A hidden campaign. The surfaces of the Last Supper present less than 50% of parts of the still conserved traces of the initial color. Leonardo used an Aseco technique and had not ensured that the color penetrated into the palace star, as happened with true fresco. He first laid down a layer of white plaster, and when this was dried and smoothed, he had proceeded as though he were painted and patel. Thus, the original pigments remained on the surface, and as plaster deteriorated, they were lost. From a distance, we perceived the, the form and the colors, because some parts conserve pigments. The effect is that of a opaque painting of superficies, with more than 50% of gray stains the lower the situation, a technique of digital painting by which it is possible to clone surface of the image, can fill in the flaws and the enclosures areas with a digital copy of the nearby remaining color. This can be done with some detail and with very high distillation photography. In this example, we can see how behind the central window, beyond the mountains landscape, there is a village. There are colors and backstore and the identify a company immediately to the left of the face of Jesus. In this case, the legislation consists in cloning the colors, parts and decorating the form through the surviving colors. The technique is the same as the one that allowed us to remove link from face, whereby we can fill cracks with the adjusting color, the elimination of the gray areas, and the doubling of the color render the surface more vivid and lively. In this way, a company with a very sloping roof appears. It is difficult to recreate the exact form, but we seem to discern a hexagonal base and some three lighting windows. Virtual reconstruction. Through various digital techniques, it is possible to attempt a reconstruction of the Last Supper by reviving colors and forms that give us an idea of the splendid painting created by Leonardo. Also, the Mona Lisa presents colors and details that have deteriorated in with respect to the original ones. The cases are, however, very difficult because the Mona Lisa still conserves over 90% of the original surface, and we know that a layer of varnish and dark darkness, the colors that are never present beneath it. A digital selection of the Mona Lisa is easier because the pictorial surface is present and there are not losses except for very tiny ones. The colors can be revived through digital filters. The last supper, on the other hand, has lost 60% to 70% of its surface, so the task here is more difficult. Numerous digital installations carried out earlier, in fact, a kind of digital repainting very much like the work of the 19th century Easter, who did not respect the original but reinterpreted it, often with cutting effect. The new procedures here adapted to attempt a digital isolation, seek to remain closer to the original and to the historical documentation without inverting colors on forms. Extremely useful for these purposes is a copy of the Last Supper, painted by the artist Gimpit in 1515. From this copy, we can still 
digitally forms and colors that are lacking in Leonardo's Last Supper, hoping that the author of the copy did a good job. The copy made only 17th century years after Leonardo had finished painting is undoubtedly a more reliable document as regards forms and colors than any later one. It is also important to use Leonardo's drawings as reference points in deconstructing missing forms. New drawings were also used to add and to define better the contour and shadows, redirecting the outline and using gimpy colors as a principal reference. What they obtain must be a more correct and respectful vision of the historical documentation, even though it can never be like the lost original. はい、ということでね。実際にその最後の晩餐をですね、今もう70%、7割ですね、損傷されてます。レオナルド・ダヴィンチが書いたことから、書いた頃から比べると。で、レオナルド・ダヴィンチ書いた時、ま、実際どう
。はい、今日はね、このくらいにしておきたいと思います。まだまだね、たくさんちょっと見ていきたいところがあるんで、紹介していきたいと思いますが、ちょっと一応ね、あの伝えておきたいかなと思います。というのもね、このレオナルド・ダ・ヴィンチでこう13人の人が描かれてますが、誰が描かれてるのということですね。まあ、12人のお弟子さんなのは、まあ、もちろんなんですけど、えー、と左からですね、バルトロメオ、バルトロメオが描かれてます。でその次がジェームス・クレス、でその次アンドリュー、でユダ。ユダは、ね、裏切りの報酬の銀貨30枚が入った金着を持ってます。で、ペテロ、ペテロナイフ持ってる人ですね、ピートロ。これね、あのー、サンピエドル大聖堂ですね。サンピエドル大聖堂。今のローマ教皇に続く、まあ、初代ローマ教皇に当たる人がピーターです。で、ジョン。ジージュス。中央にいるのはジージュス。で、その横がトマス。ジェームス・ド・グレイトルス。フィリップ。マテュー。ユダ・ザ・バティス。サイモン・ゼルテス。というふうな形で13人の人が描かれております。今日はね、このぐらいにしておきます。おやすみなさい。